Good morning and God bless you on this Thursday. Uh, I've been saying it for a while lately with a smile on my face, but with a little lump in my throat. We live in interesting times. And I'm reminded of how many times in scripture we're reminded that if we put our hope in the things of this earth, if we put our hope in wealth, if we put our hope in rulers and leaders, if that's where we set our focus and our attention and that we carry that hope, we are sure to be disappointed. And as we go through this time where there's so much concern and so much unheaval and people on both sides of the political aisle are feeling like the other has acted deceitfully and in, in bad faith, perhaps even engaging in criminal activity, I'm reminded that there's has to, we have to find some way to center our own souls and to ground ourselves on a hope that doesn't consist in who's in office and who wins the election. And I'm drawn back to Psalm 37, one of the Psalms of David, and I'd like to read it for you this morning as a, kind of a devotional way of centering our heart for the day and this time that we live in. Do not fret because of those who are evil, or be envious of those who do wrong. For like the grass they soon wither, like green plants they will soon die away. Trust in the Lord and do good. Dwell in the land and enjoy safe pasture. Take delight in the Lord, for he will give you the desires of your heart. Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in him and he will do this. He will make your righteousness reward like the dawn, your vindication like the noonday sun. Be still before the Lord and wait patiently for him. Do not fret when people succeed in their ways, when they carry out their wicked schemes. Refrain from anger and turn from wrath. Do not fret. It leads only to evil. For those who are evil will be destroyed, but those who hope in the Lord will inherit the land. A little while and the wicked will be no more. Though you look for them, they will not be found. But the meek will inherit the land and enjoy peace and prosperity. The wicked plot against the righteous and gnash their teeth at them, but the Lord laughs at the wicked for he knows their day is coming. Not sure how you feel about those words of David, but I find great comfort and reassurance in them. That reminder that my hope is not grounded on a political system or on an ideology or who holds whatever offices of power or authority. Ultimately, our hope, your hope and my hope, is based on the sovereign God of the universe who created all things. And God has given us an invitation that he who created all things is the one to whom all people and all things will answer and give an account for the way they've conducted themselves in this life. And there's great comfort in that regardless of your political affiliations, when you fear that there are those who are doing evil, when you hear the rumors and when you hear actual evidence of corruption, don't worry about it. Don't let it resort to wrath and bitterness and anger and discouragement within you. This is the beauty of what David is saying. Trust in the Lord, do what's good, and you will have the Lord's favor. These things are going to happen. These people are going to come. They're going to rise and they're going to fall. There's going to be those who will always play the game and be corrupt and will seek whatever advantage they can get through their scheming. But none of them pull anything over on God. And again, I can be gullible. I can be deceived. I can be tricked. But God can't. And so when it comes to our own safety, when it comes to our own security and our own future, we are reminded by David to do what David did, to put our trust in the living God, for he loves us. And if we ever wonder about that, 
we grab hold of the promise that it, because God loved us so much, he gave his only son. And if he was willing to share his son, he will take care of us in all things, regardless of what happens, regardless of who's in power, regardless of what the future holds. God is still God, and we are his children, and we can find rest and peace in him. So I hope this, is in, this encourages you today. God bless you as you live this day. Amen.